We take a look at the 2017 ballot and what a tax increase means for Summit's biggest taxpayer, Vail Resorts. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News. First, Crystal 93 confirmed late last week that burglars stole an undisclosed amount from two ATMs in Summit County this October. The burglaries are still under investigation by local, state, and federal authorities, according to the local district attorney's office, and there are still no leads on suspects. The office could not release the amount of cash stolen. However, the office could confirm that the burglaries are more complex than a simple smash and grab. Authorities have had trouble identifying suspects because, in at least one case, the ATM camera camera was disabled. Officials described the burglary method as complex. The DA's office also confirmed that these crimes are tied to multiple ATM burglaries in other states. Stay tuned for more information as the ATM case develops. A Breckenridge man died this past weekend mountain biking in Moab. Eric Duby, a 30-year-old physical therapist with Howard Head Sports Medicine, was riding on Captain Ahab Trail south of Moab on Friday when he lost his balance and fell off his bike, according to police. The Salt Lake City Tribune reports he was pedaling uphill at the time and had experienced chest pain earlier in the day. It's unclear if Duby died from the fall, but he was wearing protective body gear. A coroner's report is still pending. He was riding with three friends, also from Colorado. Duby was well known in Summit County, where he worked for Howard Head and traveled with the U.S. ski team as a therapist. Stay tuned for more details on a local memorial. Ballots for the 2017 election are due tomorrow, and the biggest question for most of Summit County is taxes. Measure 4B gives Colorado Mountain College the ability to raise the mill levy, a metric that sets property taxes, by $50,000 this year, and then enough to maintain the school's budget into the future. That equals about three extra dollars per $100,000 of assessed property, or no more than a cup of coffee per year, school officials say. But what does this mean for Vail Resorts, the biggest taxpayer in Summit County? All commercial property at ski resorts is taxed similar to private property, even when located on U.S. Forest Service lands. That includes buildings like the Outpost at Keystone and Pioneer Crossing, the new multi-million dollar restaurant on Peak 7. The 2016 assessed value of all Vail Resorts properties in Summit was $69 million. That was before Pioneer Crossing. $69 million in assets might imply that Vail will get hit with hefty taxes if 4B passes, but that's not quite how the system works. CMC is asking for an increase across six mountain districts, meaning Vail Resorts would pay a maximum of $50 or $60 more per property, depending on value, in each of its areas. The company owns about 60 properties in Summit County, so in the grand scheme, the Summit Assessor believes this wouldn't be a deal breaker for a company worth $10.5 billion. Vail Resorts had no comment on the issue. This weekend in Breckenridge, the next big thing you've never heard of just might come to life at the annual Startup Weekend Breck. Tom Fellner with Imagine That Creative in Frisco is one of several Startup Weekend coaches. He and the others help entrepreneurs fine-tune their ideas and turn them into living, breathing products they can sell. Think past winners like an app for outdoor adventurers or social media that connects socially conscious consumers with socially conscious companies. This year's event begins Friday at 7.30 p.m. with kickoff night. That's when dozens of locals pitch their idea to the crowd and then everyone votes on five or six with promise. Startup weekenders then spend the next 54 hours planning, developing, and pitching their products some more. For more info, see the Startup Weekend page at elevatecospace.com. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News.